Hello everyone, we will continue the topic ALV and in the previous videos we studied yes we can create the field catalog using the SAP function module we can create the field catalog manually then we can display the ALV output using reuse ALV grid display or reuse ALV list display we covered the difference between list and grid also. And yes, if you are using SAP function module to generate the field catalog, after that, you can change the field catalog also. If you are going for manual, anyways, at that point of time, you are doing everything from the scratch, then you can write the logic in that way itself. But yes, if you are going for a scratch development, prefer manual field catalog method because in that case, there's no need to modify or something. You can develop your field catalog in that way itself. Now we will go for next important point, which so many people ask. Yes, for this, I received lots of queries. So our next is can we combine both the steps into one step? Suppose we know we have two steps for the ALV creation. First one, we need to create the field catalog. And the second step is bind the data with the field catalog. So we are creating the field catalog and we are binding the data with the field catalog. So can we combine these two steps into one step what is the disadvantage or what is the restriction in that particular case if we will combine those two steps into one this is what we discuss in this particular video suppose i will take any program suppose i will take this program itself we are creating field catalog separate step we are binding data with field catalog separate step. So we did these two steps. We can combine these two steps into one step also. How? Suppose we are creating this field catalog. So I will comment this field catalog part completely. With the help of this function module itself, it can be grid, it can be list. With the help of this function module itself, we will tell SAP, okay, generate the field catalog, bind the data with the field catalog. Now, I will simply, simply uncomment this parameter. I underscore structure name. Previously, you pass the structure name to this particular function module and SAP separately generated the field catalog and we pass that field catalog internal table to this function module. Now we are not going for separate step. With the help of this function module itself, we are doing both the things. So in front of structure, I will pass the name of the structure which we created. And yes, it should be a global structure. Now, SAP will generate the field catalog. Now we are not passing the field catalog. We are telling SAP to generate the field catalog and we are passing that data to this particular field catalog. Have you seen? With the help of one step itself, we did both the things. Similar is for manual field catalog also. Suppose if I will go for manual field catalog program. If I will go for this program, manual field catalog. You can comment the logic for manual field catalog. There's no need for manual field catalog. 
you can simply pass the structure and you can go for the data. There is no need to pass the field catalog internal table. Now, if I will show you the output, then we will discuss what is the major so many limitations of this. Suppose I am going for any input. And you can see output is coming. Now, suppose now I will go for a requirement. You gave this particular program to the customer. You combined both the steps into one. And we are telling SAP, yes, we are going for one function model and do both the things. Now, next thing. After a few days, that's what customer is saying. I want to change the position of these two columns. But customer is saying, I want to change the position of these two columns. I want to change the label of material. Suppose I want this column to appear as checkbox. I want this column to appear as hotspot. I want this column to be editable. Now the question is, you do not have a separate step of the field catalog. So your flexibility is completely gone at all. If you have a separate step of field catalog, you can change the positions also. You can change the labels also. You can make editable. You can go for checkbox. You can go for hotspot. After that, you can pass to this particular function module, whatever the changes you are doing with this particular field catalog. Same is here also. If you are not going for manual field catalog and you are passing the structure name directly and in the future, if these kinds of requirements come, your flexibility is completely gone at all. Again, you need to backtrack and do a separate step of the field catalog. That's why we are always going for two separate steps. We are going for a separate step of field catalog. We are going for a separate step to bind that data with the field catalog. Yes, if you think, yes, the scope of the program is freezed, no further changes will come in the program. Customer will never say to make editable. Customer will never say to go for hotspot. Customer will never say that we need to change the position. Customer will never say to change the labels. Then we, there's no need to go for two steps. With the help of one step itself, we can do everything. But never tell in any interview that ALB creation is one step. No. ALB creation is two step only. We can just skip this part, but with the help of this function module, SAP will do both the things together. SAP will generate the field catalog also, and SAP will generate or SAP will bind the data with the field catalog also. So what is the summary of this particular video? This query asked by so many people, many people are asking why, why you are not merging the two steps into one. We can merge, we can go for a single step also, but just think at that time, the flexibility of the program is completely gone. If you know, yes, the pro, the there is no further scope of the program. Customer will not go for any further requirement into this particular program. No problem. Go for this particular step, single step at all. But yes, it does not mean that the field catalog is not there. The single step is doing both the things. It is generating field catalog also using this structure. It is binding that data with the field catalog also. But always, always go for a separate step of field catalog. Because if you are going for a separate step of field catalog, in future, if any changes are coming into field catalog, you can do everything. Otherwise, if you have not done, you have to again backtrack 
again you have to go for manual field catalog or use the sap function module so this is the way how you can decide you can combine also or you want to make a separate step also but it's always always suggestible and go for a separate step of field catalog so that you can accommodate all the further changes whatever the changes are coming into the future so that's it in this particular video thank you